Hi, I'm Renee Devereaux. I'm the president of the Club for Creative Expression. Today's show is Brain of a, and Body Regeneration. As you know, I have brought different modalities or different therapies you know, to, into awareness. And one of my favorite practitioners is with me here today. I'm going to be speaking a little bit about you know, my issues. And do be aware, I mean, we all know that no body is perfect. Consequently, we all have our issues that we deal with. Some, for some of us, it's just about alleviating pain. For me, it isn't. I don't like pain any more than anybody else does. But I also want to stay mobile, flexible. I dance, so staying flexible is very important to me. I was born with scoliosis, and it has given me quite a bit of uh, trouble throughout the years, lower back pain. And then the left arm has frozen periodically, and it also has hurt. But again, for me, it's not enough to just get rid of the pain. I really want to stay in full capacity to be able to move and to dance and to feel the way I, I always have. Consequently, I'm very particular as to the practitioners that I, that I choose because, I, again, I don't want to just be medicated. For me, chiropractic is a very important what, practice or you know, a discovery that I made a long time ago because it has really helped me throughout the years. And so today I have with me one of my favorite people because he's definitely been helping me. He is originally from San Diego and now is in Orange County, not far from Laguna Woods where he maintains his practice. And so today I'd like to welcome Dr. Timothy Lanier and welcome, right, thank, thank you, you for being here. Thank you for having me, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, well I'd like to have you start by telling us what brought you to chiropractic? I mean, to what, why right. did you start in right. that field? My journey to chiropractic was, after getting out of the US Army, um, I was studying to go towards medical school mm -hmm. and I started to have a lot of severe lower back pain. Uh, migraines, um, the stress of studying was uh, making the migraines more severe and more frequent. A friend suggested I go to the chiropractor. Once I, I went, uh, he found out a right short leg about an inch. So there's a difference. There's a functional short leg mm. and then there's a structural short leg. So functional means that there's just a muscular imbalance, alignment imbalance is creating it. Mine was a structural imbalance, oh. okay, which meant that when you measured my legs, it was measured an entire inch short of so the other like one. So it's like your skeleton was actually... It makes me dance real well. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, my hips naturally shift because of it. <laughs> um, okay, there's a plus to everything. Right, yeah, I exactly, like that. <laughs> yeah. It made me look better than I was, right? So um, anyway, so that it, it, what it did to the alignment here, if I may, is it made this pelvis here shift up uh -huh. and the other side down. And that twist then led this problems all the way up to the top of my neck up here. Okay. okay. All the way up to the C2. And uh, so C2 is the nerve that kind of wraps from the back of your head up over your, your scalp to your eyes. Uh -huh. So I would have a lot of problems with vision. So um, any lights off of a car or a window would, could trigger the migraine. Wow. Right. So I okay. went to the chiropractor and basically resolved all of those problems. Put a heel lift in, I exercise, I run, I do everything I want to do. No problems as long as I keep it in the right spot. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Now I find that of special interest that, mm -hmm. what do you call it, C2? C2, right. Now, would that have an impact on dementia? I mean, when people are losing their memory? I mean, if it created migraines for you, mm -hmm. would mm -hmm. it also have other ramifications? Um, I mean, there, there's a lot of people that the main thing is the brain stems right there. Uh -huh. So since the brain stem is right in that area, there's a lot of things that that really could affect. Um, it's not the same for everybody. So what one person comes in, it's different for the next person. I don't put a whole lot of limitations on what chiropractic can do because I've seen it do some amazing things, help people. I didn't really think I could help much and it helped them more than I thought 
mm -hmm. really possible. So right, well, that's remarkable. Right. And so, do you think that what the fact that you were young or younger, right, <laughs> younger, right, right, right. that it would have been easier for you to get into alignment? Well, that, yeah, that's true, or, because of what I, looking back in my childhood, I used to have a lot of pulled hamstrings uh -huh. on my right side. And so for me, um, me helping people has been a process of me going through certain events in my own life that have led me to figure certain things out and also working with people and seeing how things have helped them. Um, but for me, my, I used to have pain down my leg on that side, but now looking back in my childhood, the reason I had pain down my right leg was because of that imbalance. Uh -huh. So, um, and so, uh, you know, the, uh, I've understood kind of, it's helped me understand how to balance a patient because of what I've experienced. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I, I know for myself mm -hmm. how I feel when I am out of alignment and mm -hmm. I, and I can sense it mm -hmm. because again, the pain right. comes and right. I, it doesn't really, I don't allow it to stop me. Mm -hmm. And yet I know that it. It could right. if I didn't tend to it. Right. Right. And so how is it that you're able to, to make that adjustment or help people get into alignment? Well, I, I really like that you're, you stay active. I mm -hmm. really like that you, you know, one thing is, is I'll, I don't ever want to take your activities from you, but I want to try to make sure you can do your activities without pain. I want to try to make sure you can continue doing what you do for, uh, you love doing for as long as you, you can do it. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. what I don't want is you just to stay home, right? I want you out enjoying your life. Exactly. Right. And that is why I want this awareness for right. people. Oftentimes they think, oh, it's just, you know, old, getting old, sure. degeneration. Sure. It's, a, it's a, what is it? Inevitable. I hate that word. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't really seen age be the factor with people. Okay. Right. Um, I remember one time a patient came and he said, my right shoulder hurts. And I was like, well, what's wrong? And he's like, I'm just getting older. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, how old's your left shoulder? <laughs> 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 right, right, right. So, I mean, we, you know, we, we stopped that right there and we decided to fix what's going on. Uh -huh. Right. I think that's great. <laughs> I have to remember that. Right. <laughs> right. right. Okay. And so would you be able to help somebody, for example, with spasms? So in, in my experience, spasms typically means that there's a pinched nerve. Mm -hmm. um, if, if, if your muscles are just tight, uh, a lot of times it just means the posture is not normal. If those tight muscles go to a hardness, so a step up from tight, so a couple layers of tight, um, that means it's been there for a while. Um, but spasm is a different thing. Spasm means there's a twitch, a, a, um, you know, a, a flickering of the muscle, something like that. that. In my experience, it usually means there's something pressure on a nerve that's affecting that muscle. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, you mentioned something here. Hardness. Mm -hmm. You mean, what's, what's the evolution there? What, what's happened? Right. So a lot of people, well, their shoulders will be up and mm -hmm. they'll be up and the muscles across their shoulders will be kind of hard, right? So they stay that they, way. Because they're staying exactly. up. And we mm. got to try to relax those down for that hardness to soften up. Now, is there any method or anything that you suggest mm -hmm. so that, um, well, I know for myself, posture is very important. Right. And I think one of the more aging features or, you know, is when people right allow their shoulders to droop. Right. So do you recommend anything else? I mean, I, you know, I appreciate the art of chiropractic. Sure. Sure. And, you know, but sometimes people just don't see that or can't right. imagine or they're afraid of maybe p that you're going to create pain in the adjustment. Mm -hmm. Is that well, inevitable I, I, again? I, I, it, for me personally, I, I'm, there's a normal posture mm -hmm. and there's a normal alignment. Uh huh. Okay. So that kind of makes my job kind of easy because I'm just trying to take you to that normal position. What's normal right. for what's, what's, each person. Right. So, so it, with that, we just want to stretch the things that are tight and strengthen the things that are weak. 
Um, I think Laguna Woods has got some great, you know, um, exercises, classes mm -hmm. um, from pretty beginners levels. I've seen it up to pretty advanced. I know there's a, like, I think it's like an Olympics coming up soon. Um, that's right. Phenomenal. Oh, yes. Like, I was like, well, that's great. It's a yearly, <laughs> yeah. yearly event. Right. Correct. Yeah. yeah right. Lots of uh, people compete and mm -hmm. sometimes they do go beyond their pain threshold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, I'm not encouraging people to, to hurt themselves. Right. But I do want them to be aware that right. perhaps chiropractic can right. help. Right. It's, I've seen chiropractic do things that, honestly, I didn't really think there's certain cases I didn't think I could help. Can and, you give an example? Um, I mean, if I saw a, a patient with, you know, weakening, their, their, their whole body weakening, maybe even losing weight, mm -hmm. they're, they're getting to that stage. Um, and then through adjustments and really giving them some things to do at home that I feel like they can do at home. They don't really even have to go to a gym to do, but they can do at home. Um, have, in, in one case that comes to mind, just, it really changed this person's whole life. Uh -huh. and, and now the, they've put on 15 pounds in a month and they're exercising now. And I get a call from their, their son going, <laughs> it's amazing here. Like, uh -huh. I'm like, yeah, I'm amazed too, actually. So uh, your mom's been fantastic, right? So right. You know. But what you saw first was a person getting feeble. Right. That's what it sounds right. like. Right. Because I, I know people like that, and it's like the more they what they succumb to that. You I, know? I think in, in some cases what happens is, is sometimes chiropractic becomes a last resort, mm -hmm. um, meaning we, we go to the worst case scenario. We've had every MRI, CT scan, every neurologist, every doctor, and sometimes that's important, but mm -hmm. sometimes chiropractic's important. And if, and some people wait and do all these things, spend a lot of money doing those things, have no um, results, no improvement, uh -huh. And then they try chiropractic, and they found that to be the solution. But in, I think in a lot of cases, if we tried that even first, we would have saved ourselves a lot of time uh -huh. and even money. Well, I do have a sense that some people expect chiropractic adjustments mm -hmm. to be painful. Is mm -hmm. that always true? Well, I mean, we're working on sensitive joints sometimes and we're working on sensitive areas and um, a lot of times people are coming in, they're hurting. Um, I, I don't think it's something that necessarily has to be painful. Um, there is a certain amount of time it takes for your body to heal, recover. Mm -hmm. It's different for everybody. So some, one person might recover in a day, it might take someone else a couple of weeks. Um, mm -hmm. I think we just gotta be a little patient with it. We try to be as low force. So we have a technique called Pro Adjuster, which is a very low force technique. We can start off with the most minimal pressure, mm -hmm. but it still works, okay. but it still works. It works, it, still it works. works. It's a matter of I, I really, consistency, would you works. say? Mm -hmm. it still works. Being patient with it and knowing we didn't get to the state mm -hmm. and position overnight, uh -huh. got it. Um, and so we gotta work together. And that's, that's what I like to do. I like, I like when as a patient we're working together, what worked well, what didn't work well. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, and so what, factors are you know are included you mentioned it could be structural mm -hmm. or and it could be what other what was the other well i mean the, there's the whole body right the so whole, we the, have the whole body I right mean, it, we, we um there's stress tends to be a big factor mm -hmm. for people's recovery if if there's a lot of stress going on not sleeping very well okay right then it's going to be hard to heal and so with stress just how does that impact pain? Well, naturally what? when we're stressed, we're gonna tighten up our okay. body, right? I mean, that's, there's gonna be that. Uh, one, one thing I've seen over the years of doing this, so I've been doing this since 2002, um, mm -hmm. is, and I didn't really understand it at 2002, but I understand it now, is I would see a lot of people go on vacation. Mm -hmm. And they go on vacation and they're, let's say they come in the office and they're in a lot of pain. And they're like, I'm really nervous about this vacation. Will they go on their vacation? They feel great. Uh -huh. No stress. They're on their vacation. They're feeling terrific. No problems. So what was the dynamic? What happens? Well, then they come back and their pain 
is kind of right back to the way it was because they're uh, back to that okay. lifestyle, the, the stress. There's, there's that. Um, so, Tension. Right. And so I, I try not to um, think that we can eliminate the stress. Mm -hmm. But what I try to do is what can we do to lessen it to a healthy level? Mm -hmm. Right. Maybe we can't eliminate it, but maybe we can just get it to where it's at a healthy, healthy zone uh -huh. where it's not affecting my quality of life. Right. And that's what I, I have a belief about that, right. that if everything is running properly, if I am in alignment, right. then I will be they work too better able to, right. you know, to adapt to the stress that I can't eliminate. It's there. Mm -hmm. It's part of my life and I can't eradicate it, but I can definitely become stronger so that I can sure. tolerate it and brush it aside. Mm -hmm. So how would you recommend, or is there a way of helping the nervous system heal? Would you mm -hmm. recommend diet or? I, I think diet's important for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to say, I mean, there's a lot of different diets out there. Um, it's hard to say exactly what diet's the best for each person. Um, but mm -hmm. certain nutrition definitely will help your body cope with stress better. So you want to support your, your adrenal gland, you want to support your muscle system, your nervous system with the, with the right amount of nutrients that your body is actually absorbing those nutrients. And that's the important part. When you do take vitamins, you want to make sure the vitamins that your body is going to actually absorb and mm -hmm. use. Right. So mm -hmm. it sounds like a mind-body... Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of components here, right? Right. All the right. components of, right. a, of a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so right. the, what I hear is to somehow learn to manage the stress. Mm -hmm. So it's, I guess it's what comes first. Is it the stress that causes the imbalance or the imbalance that can add to the stress? Um, I think there. I, th I think. It, it, I think we need to really address both. Um, I mm -hmm. would say I think both are important. I mean, the 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 spine stuff I can really work with. Uh, but when we go home, and you take care of your, yourself at home, we got to make sure that we're we're doing the right things mm -hmm. to at home. Make sure we get enough sleep. Um, that's a difficult question to answer. I I would say. It's just different for every person. Right. Well, I yeah. found it fascinating when you said that it could be, you know, uh, structural, right. that you had an actual right. difference in the length of your legs. Right. And I bet that there's a lot of people who put up with a lot of pain right. and don't even know that right. they have one leg shorter than the other. Right. Or that there, there's something maybe from, from birth. And I didn't right. know for many years that I had <laughs> scoliosis, right, right. you know, it's like, right. and then it, finally, I, I, I think somebody referred me to a chiropractor, and that's when I found that, yeah, I have had scoliosis, and mm -hmm. it, it was there, and not too much could be done about it, but I don't know, I find it very manageable as long as I have a regular treatment, right. you know, a right, periodic right, treatment. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, and then, and I think that's important. I mean, you're you're you've you've learned how to um, handle what's what's going on with yourself, mm -hmm. and and how to find the right ways to manage yourself. Right. And when yeah. when you need something, when you need more of something. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that, that's my whole, um, what the whole my whole objective mm -hmm. is that there are different ways of managing life, mm -hmm. and it's like don't, don't give up. Don't just accept that, yes, we are getting older, and that doesn't mean that life ends. Right. We can still do what we want to do as long as we're willing to explore and, you know, other, other ways of coping. Again, nobody is perfect. Right. Consequently, we all have you know, right. something that's going on with us, right. and that will, sh I think, it becomes cumulative, or it may become an issue as time goes on if it's not tended to. Right. You know? right. So I feel grateful that the scoliosis was discovered at an early, fairly early age mm -hmm. because I believe it had, if it had not been tended to or if I wasn't aware of it, now it could be really problematic. Right. You see, is that, right. What, right. Is that what happens with a lot of us? Um, I, th yeah. I, th 
I would say the only issue I think sometimes is if we wait too long. Mm -hmm. If we wait too long, then 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 it's it does become difficult to to get someone um, to where they need to be. That's that's the only I would say that, and then and stress tends to be another factor that really kind of keeps someone from getting there. Um, mm -hmm. So if 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 the patient understands that and can can work towards you know, modifying a few things here and there. We, we all have some habits we can tweak just a little bit. I know I do. I'm always working on myself. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I know I was doing some training the other day, and I'm like, okay, be coachable, uh -huh. <laughs> right? And I'm reminding myself, be coachable. And I, and I was realizing how hard that is sometimes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we have a mindset. Yeah, it's very difficult, yeah. Uh -huh. so, um, so, but I feel like I'm better off for me, for having gone through that, um, I, you know, mm -hmm. situation, I, w I think as a patient, we just don't want to, um, like you said, give up. We want to push forward, try, try solutions. As I said, I think chiropractic people look at it as a last resort, right? And I and I don't think it should be a last resort situation mm -hmm. when we're talking about the muscle system, the nervous system, the joints, the posture alignment. I, I don't think when we're looking at those type of symptoms, we should look at it as the last resort. I agree. Right. It distresses me. It makes me, um, well, it, I, rather, I get upset when people are going to have back surgery or right. you know something right. that's so dramatic right. and invasive. Right. And I always say, have you tried? Have you thought of this? And of course, you know, the answer is often, oh, my insurance doesn't cover it, but it will cover it with back surgery. Right. And so there are a few roadblocks. Again, it would still I, be, it, and even in that case, it would still be cheaper it would to still, move forward with chiropractic. Exactly. Yeah, even exactly. your quality it's, of life, yeah. It, it, and if it's out of pocket, then, you know, it's, it's right. just one of those things that I want to stay healthy and mm -hmm. vital. And, mm -hmm definitely mobile right so it's how important are things to to you, you know? right. and for me without health there is nothing mm -hmm. and if I can't dance until I'm whatever <laughs> 105 right. um, I don't want any part of it <laughs> right yeah uh, and I, want, I would like to see you keep dancing so thank you thank <laughs> you well you know I'm glad that you're so close because mm -hmm. Uh, it makes it very easy for me to just run over there. Right, right. <laughs> right. So at any rate, I have um, had the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Timothy Lanier. Mm -hmm. And it is my pleasure again to invite the community to stay healthy. I do bring seminars, workshops, and, uh, well, this show to make people aware of what is available in the community. I also do teach balance classes, and here balance is you know, essential, but I, I, I'm very aware that oftentimes people have difficulty maintaining their balance because structurally there is something out of alignment, and mm -hmm. I do recommend, mm -hmm. you know, so I, I'll need more of your cards, sure <laughs> that, <laughs> recommend right. that, they, that they see a chiropractor Right. You know, to get uh, aligned, right. and consequently the classes will become easier because I am teaching many, many methods, including hand eye coordination, which I think is very important. We lose the periphery, you know, of our vision because we watch too much TV or we're on the computer for too many hours. So eye exercises are important. And so, again, thank you for watching. I appreciate your attention. And we will be back. Thank you.